What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Movember to everyone out there. I'm rocking a beautiful mustache. It's pretty awesome. Today we are talking about fender flares and how I kind of ruined my paint putting on fender flares. Um, but let me take you back to why I put fender flares on in the first place. Um, so I drive down a bunch of dirt roads, logging roads, and when you do that, you kick up a bunch of stones, and last thing you want to do is chip your paint. Come a little closer, guys. Let me show you what I mean. So, obviously with this truck, I don't have anything protecting this part of the body. Same with the other side, and same on the box. And so what can happen, rocks chip up here, hit this, and next thing you know, you got some rust developing in here. We don't want that. So I was like, this will be the perfect solution. I'll just slam some aftermarket fender flares and that'll solve everything. I was wrong. Got some aftermarket fender flares. And no, the aftermarket fender flares did not solve the problem. In fact, they probably made it worse. So originally I'm from Ontario and everything rusts in Ontario because they put too much salt on the roads. Well, probably not too much, but they put a lot of salt on the roads and basically every vehicle rusts. And so I, really want to minimize any chance of this vehicle rusting. So that's where the whole fender flare thing came in. Obviously we're not in Ontario anymore. As you can see, we're in, right now we're in beautiful Lake Cowichan on Vancouver Island. But let me show you what happened when I put fender flares on my truck. All right guys, so we're back in close again. I apologize, my truck's not that clean at the moment, but I think you can see very well what I'm talking about. Now, some of this can easily just buff out not a big deal but a lot of it probably won't buff out now it's not down to the metal which is fine but the paint is still kind of ruined now what i'm really not happy about is you can see right here that is definitely down to at least the primer um and i'll show you the other side it's the same it's the same story um not as bad but you can still tell there's some rubbing going on and it goes all the way down here and then once again right here is pretty bad now the back of the truck i don't know what i did maybe i installed them better or maybe just these just weren't installed totally a hundred percent properly but the actual back is, is pretty good nothing too nothing really wrong back here with the paint now these fender flares are not from factory, but they are supposed to be an aftermarket um, exact replica of the factory fender flares. Now I don't have an actual, I've never, well, now I haven't actually seen an actual factory fender flare off the truck. I would imagine they are very similar. It's just plastic. But anyways, when I did go into install them, I followed the instructions perfectly. I used all the correct hardware and I used the correct 3M double-sided tape to minimize any kind of rubbing whatsoever obviously didn't work so this is just a buyer beware for all you guys thinking about putting uh, fender flares on there to protect your fenders because if i didn't take these off like i've had these on for about a year if i didn't take these off these would this would rub through all the way to the metal and this would rust to shit and so it kind of did the opposite of what I was trying to do. So I just thought I'd make a video letting you guys know um, when you do think about putting fender flares on or if you already have, you should take them off every year, maybe every other year and just check and make sure that the paint is still doing okay, that there is no rust developing underneath them because that's the last thing you want to do. Now, I don't know what the perfect solution is to protect this inner wheel well surface. If you guys know of any solutions or what you guys have done, let me know because I'm just trying to minimize any kind of body damage, especially rust, like I said, to my truck. And it is a Dodge, and you guys know that Dodge is rust very frequently. <laughs> so I'm just trying to avoid that. Um, so let me let me know what you guys have done, or if you guys have, or if you guys have fender flares on your truck and they work well, or if I'm just an idiot and I installed them pro improperly. Let me know. All right, there you go, guys. That's my two cents on fender flares, and my mistake or error, I don't know. Um, but bottom line is my paint 
has been damaged and I don't think it's going to buff out. So always be careful when you're thinking about putting fender flares on. Maybe get them installed professionally. And like I said, maybe take them off every year, every other year, just to check if there's any rust buildup, if anything's rubbing. Because like I said, last thing you want is some rust developing underneath these things where water, moisture, dirt, salt, and debris collects and can just really get in there and start rusting. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, maybe give me a thumbs up. Maybe even think about subscribing. Like I said, I will be doing a bunch of videos with my truck. Um, just stuff I find interesting mechanically. And maybe doing even some off-roading. Maybe. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next video.